Hi, and welcome to my video on the new spaces for Think of It Communities feature. In this video, I'm going to talk about the updates to the Think of It Communities, especially now that spaces is another way to organize the posts within your specific communities. So if you are new to this video or you are a Thinkific user or you're thinking about switching to Thinkific, well, uh, communities is one uh, feature I think is really uh, powerful, uh, but it's also very simple compared to other community platforms out there. So if you are thinking of using Thinkific communities, then this video is for you. Or if you're thinking of, uh, evaluating uh, other platforms come back uh, next time and I'm going to do a review on different community platforms. But uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you sort of how the communities feature works um, and how spaces, which is the latest update to communities can really um, enhance and help you organize and really customize the experience even better. So uh, let's get started. Um, if you are in your Thinkific site, you're going to want to find this communities under your support your students tab. So I've created these like kind of three demo communities for you. Um, but what I really wanted to highlight um, is the uh, spaces. So first, uh, let's just take a look at this uh, experienced PLC community. So as you see, it has gotten a slight, you know, modification, slight facelift, not a huge facelift, but a slight facelift, as I like to say, very slight. <laughs> so as you can see, I started, uh, maybe you can, I'll show you, this is an update to a previous video. And in the previous video, I had uh, uh, this a lot different. And so in this video, uh, the spaces are in here. So once you go to your communities, if you click on this three dot here, and then you go to your community, it will take you to your community. Now, once you're in this community, you will see this spaces, and this is where uh, spaces really helps you organize and structure uh, your course community experience. So I've set up general uh, for just like general announcements, but then I've also set up a space for weekly updates. And, you know, the way I want to use spaces in terms of organization is thinking about like, kind of, you know, how do I want to facilitate um, engagement amongst my students? How do I want to facilitate engagements between me and my uh, students as well? So trying to create that experience and relationship between me and the students, but also amongst the students themselves. So that's why I've kind of set up like a general, that's just kind of like, you can think of these as different channels. And with this, you can kind of move them around to sort of depend on how you want to highlight and organize which ones at the top. So I kept one as a general, and I also kept one for weekly updates. And then let's just say I want to create a specific space for homework assignments. So I could structure this basically for a uh, week one homework. And the way I, I want to use this and why I want to use this this way is because it really helps me uh, spend less time emailing students or messaging them. Um, this really allows me to create this one kind of space. Uh, for week one homework assignments so that if students have questions, then they can kind of put all their comments in here. And so that students who aren't interested in contributing to the conversation on week one can jump into a general space or a weekly update space and chime in. So let's just uh, stick with week one homework. I can say um, this is uh, a space for week one homework assignment questions and feedback. So for me, I want to, uh, I can also add an image here if I want, but let's just keep it simple for now and create my space. So let's see. Okay, so my space has been created. And now what I really want to think about is like, okay, feedback on um, assignments. And so the idea is it really allows me to organize, make it easier, and I can add images, I can write a post and attach a video, or I can attach a file. So for this one, I can I want to use this as like feedback instead of writing like a like because like like if I'm doing a group coaching and I don't have time to write each one, then I want to sort of make a general comment before I go into individual and I can say, um, hi everyone. 
and I can add, I can personalize it to make it a little bit more friendly with some emojis. Uh, some quick general feedback on this week's homework. And then I can list one, list two, list three, and then I can even later on attach a video from my Thinkific video library. So that's what I like uh, using. That's why I would I liked it, but and I also recommend this if you're looking for something within Thinkific rather than having to use Facebook or other platforms. This just keeps it all uh, hosted and housed within your Thinkific platform. And then you can create the post. And then uh, the cool thing is for anyone who sees this, then they can add comments, they can heart it, you know, it's just, it's a good way to sort of facilitate engagement. And so I've created a general space, a weekly update space, a week one homework space, and then I can also create a random space. So let's just say people in my class just want to have random chit chat. Oh, I spelled random wrong. <laughs> um, this is a place for uh random non not course related discussion i didn't spell it right okay yeah and then i can create that space as well so i can create a lot of different spaces to sort of think about how um, my students want to engage and sort of um, contribute to this community and so here i can write a post um, people can uh, write a post and attach a video or attach a file um, the one thing I wanted to show you is how I also structured uh, and wanted to use this weekly update space so that I can make this assignments due this week as a reminder and I can click on this and then I can uh, pin it or unpin it and then if I want to sort of follow this, I can follow this discussion. And so that's kind of why I really like the new spaces. It's really simple. It allows for different kinds of conversations to happen and it makes it a lot more organized and a little bit easier for students to follow uh, different discussions without sort of getting lost in the whole kind of like general communities area. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is that you can always um, uh, in this communities, you can decide who gets to see these communities, uh, the content in these communities. So, if you click on this three ellipsis dot, click on edit. So each community will have a designated access level. So you can choose for students who are logged into the site, students who are only enrolled in the course or bundle or students in a particular group. Or if this is just something you're setting up right now, then you can just set the settings as only me. And then the last thing is you can always, uh, which is really nice, I think, customize the color so that it matches the rest of your Thinkific uh, business and the look is very consistent with what um, they see on the rest of your site. So that's just uh, the newest updates from Thinkific uh, with regards to the spaces uh, feature that really, um, spaces for community feature, which really um, gives communities a little bit of a uh, facelift, uh, makes it a little bit easier to manage, organize posts, and uh, engage. So uh, let me know if you try it and if you have any questions uh, about this new uh, Spaces for Communities feature. Uh, thanks again.